I don't want to say much because I, actually I, they've had me here talking all day, really. But uh, I would like to thank you all for coming. Uh, it's very, very nice. I mean, I thought it would be terrible in that line, but I realize I know 80% of the people. I thank you very much. It's terrific. Uh, and I, said, I did say an awful lot today. And I've said enough. I did drag in the boots, art critics, and everything. You have to deal with it seriously. And I've said enough. But thank you for coming, anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Diversity and spontaneity are just two of the qualities that make David Hockney stand out as an artist of his time. Drawing is a direct, spontaneous medium. For that reason, it has always been so important to him. The repeated breaks from convention are probably most noticeable in this media. Style and experiment, tradition and innovation have developed in parallel. And all his phases have been met with equal acceptance by the public, making him one of the most popular artists of our time. Popularity is something to which Hockney has never objected. To him, art is a part of life and should be for everyone. He compares art to seeing. It is not simply a matter of how an artist sees, but rather how the person himself sees. Opening our eyes to beauty, the beauty of small, seemingly unimportant things, that is his aim. And he draws or paints his portraits to allow us to see what is behind a face. The studio in London has not been used for a long time. It has itself become a still life. Hockney claims that with age, perception of time changes. As I grow older, I find life increasingly interesting. One learns to accept certain things, even solitude. 